Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. So it's just a couple of days since Microsoft has released Windows 11 version 22H2 to the general public and there are already reports, in case you haven't heard yet, of issues um, from users who have updated to version 22H2 and are using NVIDIA GPUs, graphics processing units, that are reporting um, some serious reduction in gaming performance after installing the Windows 11 2022 feature update. Now there are a lot of uh, forums, uh, in mainly Microsoft forums, with complaints um, from users and gamers, gamers who, who have installed the update, um, version 22H2, and um, found that their frame rates, um, in some cases, um, have dropped by over 80%. Which is quite, um, you know, quite a serious drop uh, in frame rates if you are trying to squeeze every frame rate out of your GPU. Now, and um, the main complaints, as mentioned, are about frame rate drops and also poor game performance in general um, after updating. And I suppose what we could call the good news is is that although the issue hasn't been resolved yet, um, Nvidia um, say they are looking into the problem and they've actually got a. A feedback hub that you can go to and I'll actually leave a link in the description to that below where you can go and basically just give feedback so they can try and resolve the issue as soon as possible and then of course um, there are two things you can do to avoid the issue until a, a fix is actually released to uh, you know to fix the frame rate drops and the poor game performance on NVIDIA graphics cards and that's obviously if you haven't updated to version 22H2 already to just stay where you are don't upgrade yet until the fix does roll out or um, if you have already updated um, you can just head to uh, your system and head to recovery and you can go back you can roll try rolling back to the previous version version 21H2 and then obviously until a fix is released then you can um, resume and then resume update into version 22H2 and of course if anything does come to light and this issue is resolved by NVIDIA and or Microsoft then I will post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.